in today's video i will discuss how to extract maximum reactive power from a generator in a grid connected network in this network you can see there is a grid that is 400 kb grid transmission line generator step up transformer obviously 100 megawatt generator is there and if you see instead of supplying reactive power reactive power towards the grid it is absorbing the generator is absorbing 17 ember reactive power why and how to how to sort out this issue how to extract the maximum reactive power from the generator towards the grid so in today's video i will discuss about it so let's quickly model this quickly model this this is grid winding transformer and one generator okay so let's say this is 400 this is 400 kb grid and let's assign the grid parameters 40 kilo amperes or circuit current and expire ratio is typical 14 we are done 400 400 were 11 kb generator voltage this generator bus is 400 kb transformer rating 100 110 mba impedance let's consider typical impedance and xyr values for this generator 11 kb generation voltage rating let's say 100 mba sorry 100 100 megawatt impedance let's consider a typical impedance sub transient transient reactances at the typical one and it is a voltage control mode let's assign here maximum real power is 100 megawatt itself and corresponding to 85 percent power factor the maximum maximum reactive power the generator can supply that is 61.974 megawatt m over and the negative side if it is 95 percent leading power factor so in that case it can supply means negative were it can absorb basically it can absorb minus 32 point 32.868 m bar so this is voltage control impedance are given okay so we are done and let's let's consider one transmission line also what's about this transmission line this is 50 kilometer long transmission line parameters i have given some of the acsr some of the typical parameters here configuration 30 meter height 6 meter 6 meter space one ground wire ground wire is there okay let's say impedance x value y value all are there yes i think okay yeah so now let's quickly go to this load flow and let's run this load flow what will happen this transformer rating as you can see this this is 400 per 11 kb and here the grid voltage is grid voltage is 400 kb means bus voltage is 400 kb generator voltage is 11 kb let's run this load flow yes so what we can see the generator is absorbing 17 ember reactive power from the system rather supplying the reactive power from the generator towards the grid why the question is why why it is happening because because there is there is transmission line not cable there is transmission line 
so because of this transmission line because of the capacitive effect so the reactive the reactive power reactive power is coming reactive power is coming towards this generator bus towards this 11 kb generator bus right and because of this the generator voltage which is at 11 kb this generator voltage is increasing generator voltage is increasing which which may exceed 105 percentage also which is not acceptable or recommended just to protect the transformer uh, to avoid the damage not transformer to avoid the damage of this generator so that's why it is absorbing the reactive wire and it is keeping the generator generator bus at 100 percent voltage it is maintaining 100 percent voltage right and why it is maintaining 100 percent voltage because we have set the generator in voltage control mode it is set at voltage control mode so whatever disturbances will happen in the upstream grid side also or in any transmission line also the generator voltage should be kept should be maintained at 100 percentage so that is why the generator is absorbing reactive power from the system now what's the solution what's what may be the possible solution what can we do instead of absorbing reactive power it should it should inject reactive power it should supply reactive power towards the grid just to avoid the penalty also here the utility utility companies will not allow this will not allow this or maybe there will be some penalty there will be some limit of drawing the reactive power so in that case what to do what may be the possible solution in our real project study cases we have also seen if you can see uh, see uh, maybe maybe you have also seen that 400 kv side that transformer or this this is basically generator step up transformer gsut so in that case the transformer primary side voltage transformer primary side voltage is considered 5 percent higher than the bus voltage which means 400 kv is the bus voltage here so 5 percent means 405 405 kv 405 kv is the transformer primary side rating if we can change then we will see what will be the change here instead of minus 17 m bar now let's see what will happen yeah sorry we have given the wrong thing here this 5 percent means 5 5 percent of 400 kb that means it is coming 420 right 420 kb not 4 for not 5 it is 420 because 400 kb into 1.05 means 5 percent so it is 420 so if the transform primary side is 420 bar 11 kb 420 bar 11 kb then let's see what will happen so previously it was minus 17 m bar as you can see here now it is plus 21.2 megabar that means now the generator is supplying reactive but 21.2 megabar reactive power towards the system or grid towards the grid and and if we consider and if we consider the branch losses also here you can see this is the transformer losses so inside the inside the transformer this 11.9 megabar loss is there but the generator is supplying 21.2 megabar so the balance the balance means 21.2 minus 11.9 megabar that is being supplied after this transformer and again again this minus 18 megabar that means because of this transmission line this transmission line is contributing 18 megabar towards generator bus so that is why it is negative so this minus 18 minus 18 m bar means it is it is supplying instead of instead of you know consuming megawatt that is the uh, uh, what transformer was doing it is the loss but it is the generation by the by the transmission line so the net megawatt the net megawatt is 
it's applying towards the grid which is 27.3 27.3 megawatt right and again you can see this generator bus voltage is kept at is maintained at 100 percent only because because the generator is kept is operating a as voltage control mode that means the exciter exciter or that avr avr is set at voltage control mode so that's why the generator voltage should be maintained at 100 percent and now it is supplying 21.2 ember so we are able to extract at least 21.2 ember reactive power though though the though the capacity is 61.974 it is 61.974 megawatt it can generate it can supply the generator is capable to supply or generate 61.974 ember and now we are getting 21.2 ember so at least we are getting some of the reactive power towards the grid there are other methods also in which we can further improve we can further improve this uh, 21.2 megawatt uh, more than 21.2 megawatt and almost uh, its maximum maximum capacity i will cover in another video th that topic but this is this is the basic concept how we can how we can extract some reactive power which is required to be supplied towards the grid so in this way so that is why you will see in 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 almost all the real projects you will see this transformer primary side is 4, 420 kV uh, whereas the bus voltage is 400 kV so this was today's topic and if you have any question then you can uh, put in the comment box i will review and definitely come back uh, to you and if required i can i can make uh, another another videos uh, regarding this this reactive uh, reactive power or this uh, real power uh, real power supplied by this generator and also uh, you know that generator capability curve regarding this generator capability curve i have already prepared on detailed video you can you can go there how to uh, how to understand this capability curve so here also in etap you can see we, we can we can mention here is the qa 61.97 it is the maximum maximum megawatt it can generate so qa qb qc qd so all are there and there will be minimum minimum real real power let's say it is 100 100 megawatt so in some of the cases maybe for steam uh, steam turbine maybe if, uh, you know 20 percent uh, 20 percent should be the minimum uh, minimum generation for for hydro power plant it may be 25 percent 25 to 30 percent so it cannot be zero it cannot be five or ten just to you know just to maintain some economy also some uh, you know just uh, avoid some of the damages in the in the generator sap rotor sap so that detailed video uh, also available in uh, youtube i have already prepared on detailed video regarding this generator uh, capability curve but today's topic was something different how to extract how to extract reactive reactive power from the generator when when the scenario is like that generator is consuming or absorbing reactive power from the system instead of supplying reactive power towards the grid so that was today's topic and i think i hope there is some value addition so in this video up to up to this we will see in the next video